Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting linear Diophantine equation with the help of Euclidean algorithm. Given equation is 66x plus 27y equal to 9. We have to find out integer solutions. So let me divide our procedures in few steps. Let us consider one general linear equation ax plus by equal to c. So as per our problem, a equal to 66, b equal to 27, and c equal to 9. Now step number 1, which we will follow. Find out GCD between numbers a and b. If it is suppose d, then first part we have to check whether d divides c or not. If d divides c, then there will be infinitely many solutions. But if d doesn't divide c, then there won't be any solution, no solution case. A, B, C, all three are integers. Let us check as per our problem, is there any solution or there won't be any solution possible. So A and B is known to us, 66 and 27. Let us find out GCD first without using Euclidean algorithm. So I can easily factor 66 as 2 times 3 times 11 and 27 we can factorize at 3 times 3 times 3. So highest common factor that is our GCD equal to 3. Now what is C? C is 9. So we have to check whether this 3 divides 9 or not. So 3 divides 9, yes. So there will be infinitely many solutions. Now these solutions we will find out in two forms, particular solution and general solution. Let's solve. So I will use Euclidean algorithm. This algorithm states that 66x plus 27y equal to 9. First divide a by b. So we have to divide 66 by 27. If I will divide then I need to write quotient 2, then 54 I will write here. Remainder will be 12. This is remainder and this is quotient 2. So I can write our 66 as 27 times quotient plus remainder. So 66 equal to 27 times 2 plus 12. Now we will keep going like this until our remainder will be 0. So I will write here 27. Now I will write 12 times 2 plus 3. Now I will write here 12. Then I will write here 3 times 4 plus 0. Now in this practice, what is GCD? The last non-zero remainder last non-zero remainder is our GCD equal to GCD equal to 3. This is using Euclidean algorithm. Now once GCD is known, we have to acquire the path of reverse order. How it would be? I will write this GCD which is 3 this term 3 as 27 minus 12 times 2. Now I will replace this 12 by this 12. So it would be 66 minus 27 times 2. So let me write here minus this 2 is there 66 minus 27 times 2 which is equal to 3. Let me write in the next slide. So 3 equal to 27 minus 2 times. In bracket it was 66 minus 2 times 27. Expand this bracket using distributive law. 27 
minus 2 times 66 plus 4 times 27. If I will take 27 common from first and last, I can write it is 5 times 27 and minus 2 times 66, keeping this equation in our mind. Now left hand side is 3. Let me write in the right. So I can write minus 2 times 66 plus 5 times 27 equal to 3. Is it matching with this? No. So I will write 66 times minus 2 plus 27 times 5 equal to 3. Now everything is matching except RHS. So I can compare easily. So I will multiply this equation with 3. Multiply this whole equation with 3. So now this 3 I will multiply in the brackets. So it will become 66 in bracket minus 6 plus 27 in bracket 15 equal to 9. Now simply we can compare with the given equation that would be our particular solution. So 66x plus 27y equal to 9. So from here we can say this is x0, y0. So let me write here x0 equal to negative 6 and y0 equal to 15. Now let us write the general solution also. So I can write general solution formula first. X will be general solution. X will be equal to x0 plus b over gcd times k suppose where k belongs to integer. Now I will write x is equal to what was x0? It was minus 6. What is b? b is 27. What was gcd? gcd was 3. So I will divide by 3 times k. So x will be equal to minus 6 plus 9k. General solution for x where k belongs to integer. Now y. So general formula for y calculation with respect to the particular solution y0. It is y equal to y0 minus a over gcd times k. Now let us put the value of y0. It was 15 minus a value is 66 over 3 times k. So it will become 15 minus 22k. This is general solution for y where k belongs to integer. And this is the way how we can utilize Euclidean algorithm and the reverse path of the Euclidean algorithm also for finding out the initial value or particular solution to the linear Diophantine equation. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Bye bye.